Well, the backlash against Meghan Markle continues to grow after her comments about her time working on the show Deal or No Deal, saying the experience made her feel objectified. Take a listen. And I would end up leaving with this pit in my stomach, knowing that I was so much more than what was being objectified on the stage. I didn't like feeling forced to be all looks and little substance. And that's how it felt for me at the time. All looks and little substance. This from her podcast, Archetypes. And she goes on to describe a woman who ran the show who would tell her, quote, to suck it in. Well, this has unleashed a tidal wave of criticism. Some are puzzled by it, but others vocally disagreeing with Markle's perception of being objectified. You can see the quote from Whoopi Goldberg saying, what did you think you were going to? That's what the show was. Former colleagues also coming forward, posting online that the show, quote, never treated us like bimbos, Ob objecting to Megan saying, quote, I was thankful for the job, but not for how it made me feel, which was not smart. We are joined by one of the show's former briefcase presenters who worked with Megan, Patricia Cara. Thank you so much for being here. Hi, thank you for having me. So, how are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. you being on. Uh, and Patricia, first of all, what was your experience like working with Megan? Uh, what do you remember from that period of time? Um, I remember meeting her the first time I actually met her was she was sitting backstage. Uh, I had just gotten off the stage. She was one of the alternates. And when I got off the stage, I saw her and I realized she was one of the new girls that, and I went over to welcome her to the show and say hi and introduce myself. And I thought, wow, she's really pretty. And I talked to her and she seemed nice. Um, we didn't talk much. She was more, uh, more, she kept more to herself. Um, but nice enough, and again, very pretty, and that was the extent of it. Um, so there wasn't really a, a relationship other than we worked together, and when I would see her on set, we'd say hello, and that was about it. Um, and before you knew it, she wasn't there anymore, and you know the show continued on, and that was that, really. Um, so that was the extent of it. Understood, understood. And I understand you're speaking out now, and, and you lived this, so I really want to understand your experience. Did you ever see or experience any of the focus on body that Megan alludes to, the, the being told to suck it in, for example? No, I've never experienced that. And I've been on the show for years, from the first episode to the last episode. Never experienced that. Um, everybody was great, respectful, kind to us um, from the, the men and the women behind the scenes and the people on camera that you see. Everybody was pretty cool and respectful. And so I don't know where this is coming from. It's uh, disappointing that that's her experience, but that wasn't my experience at all. Um, I never had anybody say to me, suck it in. The only time I can think of that, may, you know, I, I I've heard where uh, they would say, okay, hey, we're coming back to camera. So, you know, we would just have lunch, like just be conscious of it. So maybe that's what she's talking about. It, it wasn't meant, I don't think, in a way of to make her feel less than or uh, to objectify her in any way. Um, just, you know, our team of people wanted us to look good on camera. We, we were there and enjoying the show and it's a family show. So I have to disagree with some of the things she said, um, all the things she said. And uh, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, tell me more about that. Uh, why, why are you speaking out now? Did you ever feel objectified? And, and what, did, what, are, what, what is prompting you to correct uh, some of the things that she said? I have to say, I never chime in on stuff, but this one hit pretty hard because I have been on the show for years and my experience has never been anything that she's talked about. And some of the things she said about the, the padding station and, you know, and whatever else she said, that wasn't true. Um, I never experienced that. And I know other people have spoken out too. It just hit too close to home. So I felt like, okay, wait a minute. Um, it's just not truthful. So I felt like I just had to say something because that wasn't the case. Again, our show was a family show. Uh, I We would hear from grandparents and parents and the kids that watched the show um, and everybody behind the scenes, like I said, has they have been amazing. The producers, Howie, um, our stylists, our makeup team, I, everybody has been respectful. So I don't know where this is coming from. And again, I'm disappointed you would say something like this, but, um, that's just her experience, I guess. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.